Hello again. Uh, several installments of Radical Rime will have to do with the appreciation of Christianity. Uh, this one uh, uh, is mostly to do with uh, uh, various kinds of Catholics. Lo, the Father worketh hitherto, and I work. That's an English Christian mantra. Um, got a lot of prayers, you know, it's after all one of the occupations of Christians. Ave Maria gratia plena benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus dentris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mata Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Took a while to learn that Latin, but then I love lingo, so I'm good at it. Um, When I joined the Holy Order of Mans, I was only vaguely aware of the energy of Melchizedek, that they call themselves the arm of Melchizedek. And Mans is an, uh, uh, a name for their mission, which was to prepare people for the last days, as they stated it. Um, I already, on my Zalmoxis Foundation uh, YouTube channel, have done uh, a description of my quest, including the second installment, which is called Buddhism to Christianity and Back Again. Uh, so I won't repeat all of that here. Um, but the Holy Order of Mans was started by a Jesuit dropout. His name was Father Paul Blyton. And when he dropped out, he dropped straight into occult circles of some sort, spent some time in there. And when he emerged, he started the um, Holy Order of Mans along Jesuit lines. But he was careful to, this, to state that, well, we're Catholics, but we're not under the Roman See. So does that mean what? They're Uniat? I, I don't know these things. So, um, But in any case, uh, I got a solid uh, Jesuit training for a year. Uh, good education, good training. And um, it was a little difficult for me because I was... Uh, uh, still uh, inwardly involved with being a Buddhist. But I, I managed and I was open enough to have received quite a bit of the uh, beautiful spiritual understanding as a result of my efforts. And I still love the people that were my brothers and sisters in there. The order has long since vanished. It was an artifact of the hippie uh, era. In fact, Father Paul used to hang out at the Unicorn Coffee House in uh, Haight Ashbury uh, in a white robe <laughs> and started recruiting among the hippies. And uh, he had uh, quite a, an initial following in the order. And, uh, it was an order. You know, there's no question about it. And uh, as I said, uh, I learned a lot in it. Um, then I deal with ordinary Catholics. Uh, I have some friends that uh, I'd ride out to the prison with to do a meditation circle. They'd bring a mass out there. Uh, now that's not happening because of the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. When I did the first radical remake on Islam, I mentioned uh, 
Mm. To start with, at my appreciation mentioned there were certain problems with you know, with Islam, like they blew up the Buddhist statue at Bamiyan, unacceptable. They've been methodically destroying artifacts coming from the Buddhist kingdoms of Afghanistan, thus uh, erasing a very valuable historical and spiritual record. You know, the people are barbarians. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, when it comes to my mixed feelings about Catholics, um, foremost uh, in my mind is the matter of the Inquisition being a free thinker. Uh, you know, at one point I considered using the index as a reading list, <laughs> but you know, Copernican Latin is very difficult to read, so <laughs> abandoned that idea. <laughs> but nevertheless, the uh, uh, sad fact of the uh, crimes of the medieval church, not to mention the mystical heights of the medieval church. I mean, the, the uh, incredible number of mystics that sprouted up in the Middle Ages. You know, genuine uh, unity with the Godhead, which was their secret goal. Uh, that didn't make them godly in the sense of powers. It made them godly in the sense of consciousness. Anyway, still the great crimes of the Middle Ages were mostly perpetrated by Catholics and a few pirates. Uh, the greatest crime of the Middle Ages, I think, was the Albigensian Crusade. That was a plot by the King of France and the then Pope, I forget which one, um, <clears throat> to pillage southern France on the uh, flimsy excuse that there was a spiritual tradition that they didn't understand that they considered to be highly heretical, was it? <laughs> what is heresy? Um, I looked into, what was his name? Pelasgius, Arius. Um, and the difference is so subtle, I can barely tell what the squabble was about. Um, on the other hand, there were radical differences between what the Cathars were doing and what the Catholics were doing. So they wiped them out, put them all to the sword, and on like that. It was grim. Um, but everything that's born in samsara, in this veil of tears, partakes of the negativity of this veil of tears. So being a large and powerful organization, one can expect there are gonna be problems. Uh, my condolences on the problems current that the church is having. Uh, I hope you can pull the fat out of the fire, so to speak. I was very encouraged when the current Pope came out in favor of uh, climate action. If uh, his flock could hear him, what did he say exactly? I don't remember the details, but he talked about climate action and about the climate crisis. And the uh, news media underreported that, of course, but that's their problem because uh, the climate crisis is still happening. And our response to the climate crisis is becoming, becoming an awakening call. Like we got to get ready, don't we? Anyway, uh, appreciation of ritual. In nomine Patris et Filis et Spiritus Sanctis. Amen. Now that came out of Melchizedek, I would guess. I don't think I have anything further right now, except to say that as a good Buddhist, I really have to appreciate the body of Christ. Thank you very much. Talk to you sometime.